Welcome back. I'm Nicole BW and this is a gray in skies too. And I have been busy. I've built this big thing. I'll explain that in a second. Um, I also am Steve, unfortunately. Boo. And uh, so I have quite a story to tell. Uh, but these are compacting drawers. If you put cobble down in there, it will compact up and then you can place them over here and that compacts them up to quadruple compressed cobblestone. So I'm working on getting enough. We need four quadruple and one quintuple to make a portal to the deep dark. Uh, so there's that. I've been working towards that. There's a waypoint beam and if you saw my mini map, I died. And it's sad. And if you've noticed, let's get away from the noise in the machines. Um, yeah, so we kind of need to take that way, the death waypoint off. I, I was saving that for you guys. This looks kind of cool. I, I'm pretty proud of myself for making this. It's kind of neat. <laughs> so, Wow good builder and didn't even know it okay so I was down below and looking over the edge um, and trying to get the the hardened clay blocks and I stood on this glowstone nook and fell and my jetpack was in my golden bag of holding and I didn't get to it in time and died and lost everything. A moment of silence. Okay, that moment has passed. So I went back and took a look at uh, my backup world uh, to check my bag and everything uh, that I had. And I didn't really lose that much. The jetpack was a, a big loss. I'll admit, but I did end up making a resonant jetpack uh, in its as a replacement. That took a lot of time to make, but I had all the resources for it, so there's no reason why I shouldn't have made it. And I grabbed some more armor from the the mob farm, so that's not too bad. And yeah, um, so I grabbed one of these satchels that we had already made in one of the uh, quests and put some replacement stuff in there. I had to make a new broadsword. I made a new mattock and I made a new pickaxe. I don't have my silk touch pickaxe, so we can't go into the nether to mine uh, that stuff. I made a new builder's wand, wrench, uh, diamond dolly, and I did fly around and I found a blaze spawner so we can use that. I have a reusable safari net in there just in case uh, I want to pick up something and uh, made a new watering can and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm pretty sad about that. But this, I have been working on making a the max size. Um, and, of course, this is what I've been doing to level up my Matic. <laughs> I hoed this whole area. Okay. So I made the Man of Steel upgrades because we had the Man of Steel and ability to make a Man of Steel, so it was pretty easy to do that. Uh, so that's the harvester. The planter is down here, and I can click on it. That's cool. Um, so I have it doing three plots of seeds, two plots of soybeans, two of carrots, and two of potatoes. Uh, I filled it up with stone bricks. I turned consume stack off. That way you'll always have one in each of these and it knows where to put them. Um, you only really need one stack per plot. I mean, you're going to need more than that just to initially plant them, but you don't need more than one stack once they're all planted. Uh, but I've been kind of farming upstairs and bringing them down here uh, to plant. And I have my Man of Steel upgrade there. Uh, I have a, just the leadstone flux ducts going down underneath there. And I used the peat-fired engine with the peat in it uh, to power it initially. Uh, but it's going to have the... Um, 
culinary generators. Oh my gosh, that just completely slipped my mind. Uh, the culinary generators are who's going to power it, and hopefully, it's going to give us enough energy to power uh, a lot of our base. Maybe. Uh, so the stuff from the harvester will go in here, then it'll get pulled out. Underneath here, I have a dense uh, item duck. So hopefully, the stuff will go that way first uh, and go into the planter, and then it'll come out here. Uh, here are all of the drawers of things that we should be getting from the harvester. So I have these uh, connected underneath. That's where they are in. They are getting imported into the barrels or the drawers underneath. I also have them locked so they won't ever completely empty. Then behind it, I have the servos that are pulling them out. And, um, woo, I forgot I have a jetpack on. Uh, and then I have it just like upstairs with the pressers. I have the soybeans going into this one and then being pulled out from the bottom. Uh, then the soy milk and being pulled out from the bottom and the silken tofu and then being pulled out from the bottom. So that is dealing with the tofu. Then over here we have, in here we have coal and I'm just going to manually fill this up. It's also filled up here because uh, to get this to automate, you have to have power. So I'll probably put a uh, upgrades in here so that it becomes more efficient uh, but for now I don't so the production table we have crafting tables the extra storage and an auto crafter in each one so that way it auto crafts we only need two we need one for the flour and one to actually make the chicken pot pies now around here we have a liquid transfer node pulling in water and I have uh, the speed upgrade because once we have these going full swing uh, then we're probably going to need more water and a world interaction upgrade to actually do the water. Then I have two liquid crafters. Uh, in here it's uh, putting in water. I have a pot and then it's so it's making salt. And then I have the redstone clock because it has to have a redstone signal to make it. So it needs pulse of redstone. So the redstone clock works great. Right now I have it turned off. I have this lever on. Uh, so it turns off the pulse so it would not fill up the or make a ton of the salt. Because this is pulling the salt out. And in here, the salt and the flour are getting put. Uh, to make the dough. So I don't want all of this to fill up with salt and then there end up being not room for the flour. So that's going to be kind of an issue and kind of a problem. I don't know if there's a way to control that. Uh, there might be but I'm not sure. So then that's being pulled out from the front of that. And down here in the bottom, wheat is being uh, inserted. And then uh, the potato, the firm dough, or the firm tofu, the dough, and the carrots are being imported on the top. So in here, you have to tell it which side to import and export. Uh, for each one and then I also have one for the fuel as well so you have to make sure you do that because uh, if not it, everything like this stuff will go over here underneath here and it, it, this table can't use this stuff down here so you have to make sure it gets put in the right spot for that uh, but it's all animated and this is getting is pulling out the chicken pot pies and this is filtering them so now we have a stack and 13 of the chicken pot pies yay so eventually i'm going to have this pulled out going into a culinary generator to power this as well as some other stuff yay applause 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 for me thank you <laughs> i also have an auto spawner here um whoa uh, that was fast uh i turned my mob farm into a grinder mob farm and have been collecting the essence 
And so this is one of the barrels. I have in here a wither skeleton. It just says skeleton, uh, but you have to put exact copy, yes. So you need the essence. You will also need energy. So I have the energy coming up from over there. Uh, so if we turn this on, we can see if this actually works. I haven't tested it yet. Uh, and it takes a while because it does do, it takes a lot of energy uh, to actually spawn one. And it takes a while. Uh, can we, yeah. It takes a while. And with the amount of energy that we're actually giving it, it's not very much. So this is going to take a little bit. I still have my hot dog farm going up there, which is good. It's still working. Um, any day now. I don't like being Steve. Oh, come on. I don't even know if this is going to work. We might need more power. More power! Because it's only outputting 80. Because I have that cell there, it's only eight put outputting 80. Our epitech. Yay, it works. So there we go. I'm doing that so that way I can get some wither skeleton heads so I can kill the wither so I can get a division, division sigil. Yeah, a division sigil. And then I can make unstable ingots. So, yeah, it's... It's a process. <laughs> so we need, uh, once I make unstable ingots, I'm pretty sure we can make the angel ring, which would be much better than this jetpack. Uh, we need a couple unstable ingots. Yes. Uh, so we can make the semi-stable unstable ingots. Yeah. We, that's the way I do it now because I explode and die. So uh, I can show you how I changed the mob farm. It's not much. I put a uh, grinder there. Uh -huh. I'm pulling out the, the mob essence on the side. All the stuff is coming in uh, here. And then I have this pulling out everything. I also added one for chest plates. Uh, so nothing is getting automatically deleted anymore. That's why we're getting the bows and uh, the stuff for that. So, yeah, I still have the trash can so I can collect them and manually throw them away. Uh, and I could set it up to uh, delete the stuff. I just put a filter on the pipe. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. Um, okay. Let's see. Is there anything in here? We have one quest with unclaimed rewards. Um, this, we only have to go to one or more of the locations. So we can go to the deep dark or the last millennium or the soul dimension. And I do not know how to do the soul dimension. So that's kind of out. Um, I want to go to the deep dark. Uh, so that way we have a way to get ores. Uh, so if we look at the recipe, we're going to need one quintuple and four quadruple compressed. Plus we're going to need unstable ingots. So there again, we're going to have to fight a wither. And I'm not sure where to fight the wither at. Probably in the nether. But that's going to be something. Uh, I also made these compacting drawers. And then I... Upgraded them with the emerald upgrades, which is the highest one. So these can store a lot of ingots. Holy cow, a lot of ingots. Plus the nuggets that I get from um, the bushes, I can just put in here uh, once I smelt them up and it automatically does that. So if I need a block of tin, I can just click on it. Or if I need... A stack of nuggets I can click on it so any way that I need them 
it automatically compacts them. Um, even though it says only three 10 ingots are in there, uh, I can get more out. It just uncrafts the blocks. So these are really kind of cool compacting drawers. I like it. You can also do them for anything that compacts like that, like redstone, glowstone, diamond, emerald, uh, any, anything like that uh, you can use them for. Uh, so I decided to change them up like that. And, okay. We have a... It showed... Where is a uh, mob hunter slime slaying? I must have done that again. Probably. Uh, the power grid, I do have a surprise for you guys. <laughs> Maybe. Ta-da! <laughs> so I made enough culinary generators to make eight of these yeah uh that took a lot of iron and a lot of time so uh, we will get that and we're gonna need to make one of these now one of those is going to take a hyper energy transfer node which is gonna take four of these energy transfer nodes and a bedrockium ingot. Now the bedrockium ingot, we can either smelt up um, a, an octuple compressed cobble, or we can use quadruple compressed and triple compressed and a block of diamond to make one bedrockium ingot. If you make octuple compressed, you get one of these, I believe, and that gives you nine bedrockium ingots. I believe that's how it goes. So I'll probably be doing this one to get that bread rockium ingot. Um, yeah, for that. Uh, these are going to take, they each take transfer nodes and the breath first, which takes two speed upgrades and a depth first, which takes three speed upgrades. So it's a lot of redstone. That's a lot of um of redstone yeah <laughs> it's a lot of redstone so i had made the qed and just one of the enderflux crystals you do not have to power these uh this crystal will power this so you do need at least one of these crystals to power it uh the more of them you have the faster this thing works but you do not have to hook it up to rf energy uh, I don't know if they plan on doing it that way in the future or not, uh, but we have enough of these culinary generators. We just need the hyper node, and so that I will be doing off camera because it's so much redstone, and we get 16 potions of regeneration, and then we'll be done with that. Um, let's see, water power. We need steam turbine and steam boiler. Did we try that before? Uh, steam boiler, we're gonna need another brick stairs and a sludge boiler. We take iron gears. I may just craft these off camera and do it that way. I probably will and then make these as well off camera um, the power conversion the mana flux field that thing is neat you can convert your mana into redstone flux uh, which is mana steel four blocks we could probably do that right now uh, so let's get one two three four of those a mana steel and four for we have mana steel and then four of those so there is our mana flux field and we get a mana distributor to go along with that uh, this is going to take forever for me to get to that point and these are going to take a while to get to that point as well. Uh, 
and the rest I'm going to craft off camera. Uh, but these you can, I don't know exactly how to set these up because I haven't really done too much research uh, with Batania. But, um, yeah, we'll put those in there because I don't know what to do with them yet. Uh, I'll have to research that before the, whoa, before the next episode. Holy cow. Why am I going so fast? Yeah, so I have one breath first upgrade left from that. Um, but these are what I was going to use downstairs to make the, uh, the culinary or the generator for the, hello, um, the power down here. Uh, but I mainly wanted to show this off and show what I was doing. Uh, then we can have it going uh, connected to the, the culinary generator and have a filter for the chicken pot pies. And then I'll probably move this down so it's farther away from the generator. And so that way it'll go to the generator first and then go into the deep storage unit second um, but right now we're just kind of waiting to get these uh, up more faster farther uh, they're growing kind of slow I have uh, the glowstone nooks on the ceiling to light it up and I did make sure there's no spawnable spaces on there um, but so far it's not really growing that fast uh, maybe I'm just used to like Sky Factory where everything grows really fast because of the lily pads of fertility. Uh, yeah, or the 10, 10, 10 from the Agricraft. So everything's growing at normal speed instead of super duper fast speed that I'm used to. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait to start this whole thing up to uh, get this going so uh i think i'm gonna leave that there i don't think there's really anything else Ooh, there's a sledge boiler that wasn't there before um that must have updated anything else change i haven't really done anything with with blood magic. I haven't done anything with Thumbcraft yet. Uh, botanical engineering. I haven't done those things yet. Uh, bees and trees. I still haven't started those. Oh my gosh. This is, series is going to take forever. Um, and I haven't unlocked any of the for the hoarding. So I'm trying to get the Sky Factory 2 stuff done. And so I've been focusing on that lately and kind of ignoring this which i shouldn't be and uh yeah so i'm gonna leave that there i hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh let me know what you guys think Woo! i can go up here check it out from above and i'm gonna die no i'm not so <laughs> i can get rid of this rain so let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, the sun. So nice. <laughs>